Hello, this is day 22, um, which is November 16th. So there are two big parts of this day. Um, one of them is working through the homework from last time, their reflections on the Kairos articles that they found, um, and the other is to talk about aesthetics and design um, for their own web text text, uh, a little piece of which they're going to bring into class next time. So what I'd suggest is getting students into groups of four. Each one of them has uh, found a Kairos article, so you have four to talk about, um, which would take a little while. Um, with I say give them 15 minutes, probably giving them 20 or more is, is more appropriate here, but see how much they really need. And the question that I would have them come out of this share and compare of these worksheets uh, is which is the most innovative of the articles they found? Which is the most successful at linking the digital design with the topic? Um, probably some of them were less successful. Probably some of them were really experimental and weird, um, and those might be the ones to talk about the most. But ask them to nominate a most successful, most interesting piece. Um, what I would do from there is uh, actually call those pieces up on the board and have each group uh, describe what the piece is and how it works and why they picked it. Um, this can be a half an hour to 45 minute activity depending on how much time you want to devote to this, but the point of this um, is to look at models, to look at examples of these weird texts that they probably haven't thought about making before. Um, so showing as many interesting approaches to design, uh, to user interface as possible is the goal here, and pointing out as much as possible how the design is affecting audiences, how it affects user experience, how um, it contributes or doesn't contribute to the knowledge that the text is making. Um, so every time you can, try and point out those things and try and ask about those things. The next activity after this is to get back into their pairs for their projects. That's Carly throwing a ball into her water dish. Um, get back into their pairs and um, basically they're going to try and process through what they're thinking based on the examples that they've seen now. Um, you, they're going to write a brief description of the style they're going for, which forces them to commit to something, um, even if it's to say we don't know yet but maybe it's going to be this. Um, force them to actually make a decision here that is additive, not just we're going to put it on three different pages, but um, something that they want to have a point to it, a design feature that's supposed to do something with intention. Um, even if they don't commit to it or they don't know if they can actually do it, um, simply making the commitment to intention here is going to push the projects forward in a productive way. Uh, it also asks them to draw a diagram of how they might lay out the site, what the different pieces would be. That example I showed last time with 13 different pages, um, some of which had videos, some of which didn't, um, could be laid out visually in an interesting way. Um, it also could just be outlined in standard writing, um, but I want them to try and account for everything they might have. This isn't a commitment, this is a speculation. From there, they should also think about two different paths that, that users could use through this site. Um, not just from beginning to end, but perhaps there's a productive way that they could start in the middle and it could direct them out to the other ends. Um, perhaps there's some way that they could watch the video that's the center of everything and then choose which direction they want to go. Um, draw them into really considering how a user could productively enter this in multiple ways. Okay. Um, again, they might not know how to pull off what they come up with, but um, most things that they come up with, they can pull off in this format, um, and they have the time to do it. So here they're speculating, they're coming up with their own things, um, and then as much time allows, have them share it. I think it'd be really cool to share it in, in halves of the class with six projects here and six projects here, um, where they're pitching this design to others and getting feedback on um, how it could be different, how it could be more interesting and innovative, um, or just how it's cool. Last thing to touch on before you go, this is kind of part of the homework, 
um, is to remind them of the online accessibility course that they have to take. Um, the link to this is on Canvas. I made another video about it. It doesn't take very long, really. Um, and it does make students sensitive to some issues of design um, that are going to be relevant for people with disabilities who might be reading their texts, as well as just making sure that their websites that they create um, are consistent with the university's um, web accessibility standards. Um, the fact that they're publishing these things online means that um, they're going to be held to that standard to some degree. So they really should um, get on that if they haven't started it already. Doesn't take long, but it needs to be on the radar. Um, homework uh, is going to be... Um, right. Uh, homework is going to be uh, to make, to have their website somewhat set up. It doesn't have to look like how it's going to look. Um, and to have the home page, the landing page, the introduction of their web text uh, drafted. So I have this down as 150 to 300 words for the intro to their site. Um, they might conceive of having multiple intro pages, um, depending on it have different sections, but they need to come in with at least 150 to 300 words that will welcome the user to their site at the beginning. Um, they need to think about what that user will need to see and what, that, what will inform that user about what they're getting into. Um, that, of course, will all get worked out in a, in a workshop on uh, Monday. But that's the, that's the goal here. If you're working in a lab, um, they can just pull the, the website up. Um, they don't need to do anything. If they're not working in a lab, they should print out uh, the, web, the pages of the website that are relevant for this. And I'm going to say something, um, or rather, I want to say something about word length in the web text in general. Uh, I'll mention this at staff meeting because I didn't, I didn't quite explain it in the materials um, that the web text doesn't generally have word limits for the each sections. Um, partially because while the poster had distinct sections of uh, intro and data gathering methods and findings and discussion and conclusion, and each of those had a distinct word limit, that was partially because of the space that it's in. Um, since this is a web format, they, we have as much space as we want. There's, there's no limit to it. Uh, additionally, I didn't want... One of the things that I... I I want to see from students, and I hope that they do, um, is to go beyond that, whatever it is, six-part format um, and have it on six different pages and calling them introduction, data gathering methods, and whatever. Um, I'd really love to see them fracturing that out into a more interesting setup, where maybe the introduction has two parts and the discussion section has one part that's text and one part's the video, um, where the conclusion uh, is maybe very short uh, because they've done some of the work elsewhere. So it's I wanted it to be a bit fluid, um, but feel free to set a standard for the, the word count that you think is appropriate for that. Um, the whole piece as a whole, um, you can think about comparable to a 1,000 to 1,500 word um, essay or report, maybe a little more than that, though. Um, I say that number, which sounds a little low for a final project for two people, um, partially because this is not a culminating project in the way that a traditional class would have. It's one project among nine, um, you know, on grade-wise on par with an email, uh, but also because the web design uh, consists of part of the communicative effort here. It's what we've been talking about the last two days of this class. So. Um, this would be a good time to just talk through a bit of your expectations for word length um, and for uh, depth of content on here and for the difference you want to see between the poster text and the web text. And that's about it. You are sending them off for the weekend to uh, do some web design, to write some content, and to come back with a really exciting uh, home page for their websites that would greet their eager audience.